We're live. Let me see if I can turn this around. How do we do this? It's been a while. There we go. And we're driving, as you can see. Oh, I guess it's asking me if I want to tag myself. Sure. Tag, I'm the it. Traffic circle. Continue straight onto Garris Shop Road. So, all right. So we're uh, obviously using GPS. You can hear that <laughs> in the background. Hi, how are you? I'm just concentrating. I want to make sure that um, we go to the right house. <laughs> I've not been to this house before. This is my new friend, Caitlin, and um, we will be meeting her husband for the first time. He's on board with us doing a decorating date night. Sure hope so. Yeah, she's newly in this house. They haven't been in the house for too long. Uh, from what she said, they need some furnishings. We're going to be focusing on the foyer, the dining room and the living room from what I understand today so this will be exciting it'll be a surprise for all of us she told us to go through the back door so we'll be doing that as well I imagine we're gonna be coming up on the house soon let's see it looks like Three a quarter mile turn left to stay on Garris shop road okay we gotta let's see Jennifer Rosenberger, hi, yeah. is watching. Hi, Miss Hi. I guess I can wave at you. There were other people. I don't know how to make this scroll back. There we go. Uh, oh, Pam. Hi, Pam. Pam Don Unger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. You're She's glad watching. you're able to watch. Stay on Gabriella. Then your destination will be on the right. Fudale. Oh, that's Gabrielle. We met her with Mike. Oh, right. Okay. I didn't. I don't think I remember her last name. I think I said Jennifer already. Yeah. Uh, so, Ricky Lawson. Hi, Ricky. Uh, Janae Vicura. Oh, yeah, Janae. Your destination is on the right. Uh, my destination is on the right. What number am I looking for? <laughs> uh, 9924. Nine, so, four. Okay. anyway, Pam says hi. Alrighty. There's 9907, so it's going to be on the right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 993. Oh, did I pass it? Nine eight three zero. How many they're going down? I don't know. <laughs> this is there's two five. They must be going down. So it must be the next house on the right. All right, let's hope so. Let's find out. And then we will be going in the back door. This must be it here. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Oh eight. We oh, missed there. Crying out tears. We missed it. So we are trying. Yeah, we're we're way past it now. We're looking okay. for nine. We're like a block or two past it. Alrighty. All right, so we're turning around. Sorry, sorry about that. So we are Hi, uh, in sorry. We're still in the midst of <laughs> uh, decorating date night season two. We had to take a bit of a, a break, a bit of a hiccup. Our daughter got married last year, and if you've ever gone through planning for a daughter's wedding. It's pretty all-consuming, takes a lot of time, and so we didn't have an opportunity to do very many of these shows. And uh, truthfully, some people are a little more resistant to doing decorating date night. They don't want to be on camera. In today's world, there are still people who are camera shy. Go figure. So. Seven four two. Yeah. We need. We need another, another tw we need twenty-four. Seven, two, no nine nine though. Oh. Golly. Yeah, we definitely miss it. We're nine eights. So, we are on an adventure. Maybe we should drop some uh, gingerbread cookies on our way so we can find our way out. So, season two is back underway. Yeah, let me turn this around so you can see something that's maybe more interesting to look at. Uh, Denise. Um, is that my friend from Sparks, Overly Sparks is watching. Oh, no, Denise, yeah. Hi, Denise. Michelle Hall is watching. Nine, this is 9915. Oh, is this it? That's gotta be it. This looks like from the picture. All right, so that's gotta be uh, it. That must be it. Let's try How that. Are you trying to find so, that? season two back up and running. I'm not sure which episode this is. We had a bit of a break in the middle of season two okay. here, but we're back up and running with season two. <laughs> you can go to decoratingdatenight.com. Decorating date night. That's N I N I G H T, but I think we might have it so that N I T E will work too. Decoratingdatenight.com, and you can find previous episodes this one will get posted there as well once it's ready to go uh kelly clark wheeler is watching. hi kelly all right let me shut this off i wish
shut my car off. That's kind of a problem. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Okay, let me grab my this. Let me turn off my phone. Okay. A nice and wooded area, very beautiful, beautiful, a beautiful really piece of property. View. So back door. Nice view. That's a side door. Yeah, so Kathy Willis is, is watching. Door. Hello. So, you know, wave. So Facebook has changed the interface since the last time I've done this. It's got new it's ways to to wave at people. Yeah, it seems like the last few times. Every time I go on, it's different. Already live, so I know. I saw on my security camera. Oh, oh, there the same you thing. oh really? <laughs> you look adorable. Scott, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Dina. Scott, Hi, Dina. Nice to meet you. Hi. It's Caitlin. Oh, that's right. You guys don't know each other. No, we don't. Yeah. Cool. All right. This is beautiful. Thank Kathy you. Kathy Wells said hi, Dina. By the way. Hi. All right. Let me just put this down here. Put this here. Up here. Okay. All right. So. Areas that you want to focus on, I know you said living room, yes, dining room, and foyer. Yes. Okay. Oh, who's the puppy? Hi, puppy. Urban. Hi, Urban. How are you? Oh, I've heard about you. are legendary. <laughs> <laughs> Urban legendary. Yes. Puppy. And you've been in here how long now? A couple months since September. Okay. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, look that. That's really... Yeah, we made that. You did it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Oh, you made that. So Very cool. Pretty. My daughter would love that. Yeah. She fell into that. This is such a nice big open space. It's I you love it. that. <laughs> That's great. That is so nice. Really, really nice. And we cleared it out too. Did you? So you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a bunch of like clutter or something? Oh, okay. he did. Not too much. Just too much. Oh, okay. Like gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. All right, so let me get a feel for what you guys like as far as taste. I know that you were saying you're a little bit more contemporary. Yes. Okay. I like clean. Okay, clean lines. Yes. yes. Do you like more no of a... Okay, so no chashkis, clean lines. Yep. Color-wise, do you like more of a neutral palette with pops of color, or do you like color with neutral pops? I like neutral colors. Neutrals. Neutral yes. colors with maybe pops of fruit colors. But not this neutral. <laughs> gotcha. So yeah. maybe a little bit more color mm -hmm. other than just your, you know, off-white. Yep. Yes. Okay. All this right. was a, we got 10 gallons of paint so we could sell this place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think because the entire house is this color. There's some extra downstairs if you want. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sale on this color paint. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I can see why you want to change your light fixture. Yes. Totally not That's working. original with the house. Okay. Not a whole lot of light oh, is reduced. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I think it's interesting too because that is the only light fixture in this entire space. And when you think about that, it's, it's yes. a little wild. There's not a whole lot of lighting um, yeah. in here at all. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. So now you're going to keep this as a dining room, or do you want this to function as sitting area slash dining, or how are you envisioning this? Keep this definitely as a dining space. Okay. Um, because we like to entertain a lot. Okay. We like to have our family over. So this past Christmas Thanksgiving, we had about 30 people nice. on both events. So okay. We're looking for something that's going to probably stay in this area for the dining room. I think. Okay. Okay. You can at least 10 on oh yeah, you can yeah. you can even get a table built if you want and have it be as big as you want. Mm -hmm. I almost suggest you doing that. The mm -hmm. Amish actually make beautiful stuff. Yes. Um, or if you are into carpentry and you feel like tables are not <laughs> all that difficult to make. Okay. Uh, you have to have a good glue rack. You do. You do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You have to have the right tools. Fair enough. Big okay. Thing. So now you've got. You've got a lot of space. This yeah. can be multifunctional. You can do your dining space here, you know, obviously with a different fixture. Um, in the interim, if you're just not able to do the whole light fixture thing just yet, you can always take that down and spray it. Spray it silver true. or spray it black, mm -hmm. and then it'll just change the life of it and make it just look completely yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> you could do that. You could also do that anyway and repurpose it someplace else. Mm -hmm. You can put it in your bathroom. Those are kind of fun to do a chandelier in the 
yes. anything that's kind of a touch of a whimsy, mm -hmm. something like that. No, it's cool. Um, and then, so this area, you can actually do something else here. You can do a sitting area. You can even do like a really cool banquette mm -hmm. and then another table so you've got multi sitting areas mm -hmm. and that can be a little yeah. bit more, you know, yes. casual and then this could be more of a formal night. Yes, I like Plus, that a lot. Your by the window, which is really cool. Nice little like reading, yeah. Yeah, reading up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Definitely. All right. So something like that there. Um, so you need to buy everything. Yes. We have nothing. So yeah. it's all, that is it's so a great. Blank I know. Slate. It's I don't exciting. have to throw anything. <laughs> it is except really for cool. this light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Unlimited yeah, budget, that's, right? That's, yeah. yeah right? Okay. So actually, that does help us know what it is that you're looking for. So now we know that we need to buy something here. Mm -hmm. Dining room table, we need to buy something as well. Yes. Um, what else is on your buy list? Um, I definitely want a new area rug for that area. Okay. And then a separate one. one for oh, I need something bigger. Yeah, something mm -hmm. a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. um, definitely purchases from Pier 1. Then okay. it's shed a lot, so something that's a little bit more higher quality. Okay. That's not from Pier 1. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> it was very expensive from Pier 1, not very good. Pier 1 yeah. is, yeah. It was like hit or miss for them. It, it like. is hit or miss with Pier yeah. 1, totally is. The other thing you could do is you could repurpose this in like a bedroom. Right. So, you know, completely, I don't know how big your bedrooms are, but, you know, completely do a different room altogether. Right, right. If you want, and then get, that way you don't have to worry about the shedding factor. Because when you're in a dining space, you're going to be, it's going to be annoying right. to have to deal with that. Yeah, and we definitely wanted to get like a matching buffet to okay. the, the dining um, because we do like to entertain a ton. So okay. We brought a lot of friends over yeah. um, for different events and things. So Okay, so now when you're walking in the front door, this is a huge full cool wall. Yes, and I'm seeing that there's nothing there. <laughs> okay, yeah, you've perfect. Got, you've got, yeah, exactly. You've got a lot of flexibility. You can actually do a mural on that wall. I don't know, I mean, I don't know how handy you are. I know, I'm not that handy. Okay. Because you can even do like, um, I mean, it could be a rolling mountain. It could be, I don't know what you're into. You know, it could be, right. you know, whatever. I'd look this way, but I want to see rolling mountain. There you go. <laughs> or it could be something other, you know, it could be, since you're more into the contemporary clean lines, it could be, you know, colors. Right, you know, like yeah. Stripes, but not stripes, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like waves of color, which would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. Just to keep that totally different. Just from to the rest keep of the that color. very different. Not a, it becomes a focal wall, but it's a focal wall in the sense that it's got more going on than just a different color. Mm -hmm. And that would actually be really pretty. What yes. about putting something on that wall that's textured, like like the old shiplap kind of look, or you could do that. That's not um, that's not quite as contemporary, but she could certainly yeah. You could totally do that. The other thing you could do is you could do. A wallpaper just on that wall, mm -hmm. which would be really pretty too. Yeah, that would be really pretty. I'm usually not a big wallpaper person, but when you've got something like this, I just think that would be. Yeah, so really I, nice. I missed that part. You guys are going for a contemporary look. Yeah. Even though you so have some rustic elements already in here. We like the here. rustic stuff. We like like the magnolia homes, but gotcha. we also like where it's not too much shiplap. Right. There's definitely, I right. like the balance between. Right. Mm -hmm. right. My concern with shiplap is it's so in, it's yes. going to be so, so out. out. So that's my hesitation. I've yes. been actually counseling people against shiplap mm -hmm. because it does have that. It reminds me of the sponge painting back on it's trading <laughs> spaces. And everyone's sponge right. painting. Just take some straw on the wall over here. Um, yeah. 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 What but about the sponge painting, it's so much easier to get rid of. Right. Ship lab, you're like, gotta redo your drywall. Yeah, that's, so. that's what about cool. that idea we saw the other day where somebody put up a, a full wall to look like brick and then painted it like a distressed painted white over the brick popping. Yeah, through. you could do that. That mm -hmm. would actually be really cool. It's, um, you, you know, the, the fake. The fake stone is like really thin yeah. and you kind of glue yes. it up and then I you have do. Seen that. that's yeah. So that's Here's what I would see in this space. Mm -hmm. I would see crown molding and chair rail because it's a dining room. Oh, okay. That <laughs> is not at all contemporary. That's that what is I was traditional. Thinking because I'm a carpenter by trade, so I gotcha. would see all that. Okay. Gotcha. You do realize that's not contemporary. That's my style. Okay, but so you're, just oh, outside. so you're yeah. contemporary, but you're just traditional. on that side because oh, it's a dining room. I wouldn't put chair <laughs> on the whole way around this room. 
Sure. I would put it in the dining area. Well, you would just do here and here. In the dining area. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would just be that one half wall and then the long wall. Yes. Yeah, gotcha. Caitlin was like, yeah. no. Well, the thing is, is that we came from a 1930s, like, four square brick home. So sure. I was trying to fit. So whenever I was decorating for that, it was fitting just the the traditional part of the house and we had okay. a formal dining room right. that was smaller and was all squared in so it made a lot of sense to do the chair railing to sure. do all the molding sure. but with this room being so open I'd be afraid if we did that that it might cut off Close a little it bit yeah like it would be like okay this is a totally separate area from whatever we're doing right. over here right. visually it does do that and I can see Caitlin's concern because it is connected to you have such an open floor plan right that it kind of yeah. goes, oh, like, I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your eye doesn't the then flow, it just kind of yeah. gets yeah. stuck. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was, now you could do, in order to honor your traditional, <laughs> you can do a wallpaper that is more traditional in flair as opposed to contemporary. You know, it can be, you know, overall floral pattern. Florals are really and they're also very rustic. You can do something mm -hmm. which would be really kind of nice. Or the other thing you could do, which is kind of cool, is a plaid or grass cloth, which is really wild too. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Mm -hmm. So I we can go. Oh, like Caitlin stole it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right <laughs> and again, it wouldn't be, you don't have to do, the impact is big for such a small amount that you would need. Right. So you don't have to worry about that. As a matter of fact, you could literally just do this back wall and then paint a coordinating color on this side wall to have it flow. Mm -hmm. And then bring pops of that color into the kitchen. Right, right. So that would be, um, that would actually be kind of cool. You know what you could do is you could do a wallpaper of some sort, whatever pattern that we see that you like, do a color on this side wall, bring that same color into the kitchen underneath and above your cabinet. And then that would then bring your eye into that space. Right. Yeah, I like that a lot. That would be keeping it just flowing. Exactly. Because there's no other way to break it up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so when you think of pops of colors, what colors come to mind that you were like, oh, I love that color? Oh, not that much. Like, what colors do you gravitate towards? Are you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, here's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, for yeah. matching colors, that, that's not. I don't think that's right. So, Caitlin, you're going to wear some green. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Um, okay, so what colors are that make you feel good that you like it too? Okay. I love grays. I love sage greens. Okay. I like the neutral kind of tones, but still kind of like creamier colors. But okay. Then, you know, um, not pink, but. <laughs> And also, you, like, lighter blues. It's okay. not like a baby blue, but something okay. that's more of a, like, a crisp blue color. I like those as well. Okay. So, blues you like, do you like navies? I do like navies. Okay. Because I'm, I, just what I'm seeing in my head is some sort of a pattern on that wall, but then a navy actually on the side wall, and then a navy coming in above and below with the pop of the white. I just think it would be really crisp. Yeah, there is a lot of light in that space mm -hmm. and with the white cabinets. Mm -hmm. It's definitely, yeah, yeah, I can see that. So that's something that we can kind of look at just to see. But the biggest thing is we're going to have to make a road trip. We'll do a little yes. shopping trip. I'm excited for that. Yep, so we'll do that. And then while we're out, we can also look at different wallpapers just to kind of see mm -hmm. what you like. Okay. And then we can kind of go from there. Okay, so that is really cool. Let me do some shout outs. Yep. Uh, Todd Tenkate watching. Oh, hey Todd. Went to high school with him. Um, <laughs> Sharda Holly. Hi, Sharda, yes. Robin Hemp. Hi, Robin. Uh, Carrie Harvey. We don't know her. That's Tori's sister. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dana McLemore. Hello, Dana. Oh, in Florida. She's enjoying oh, nice, sunny nice. Florida. She used to live here. Kathy Nare. Yes. Hello, Kathy. Faye Glover. Hello, Faye. <laughs> Michael Kramer. Hello, Michael. And if you have any questions, by the way, with the design or any suggestions, just give us a shout out. Yes. Susie Wersma. <laughs> hey, Susie. Okay, so the other thing I'm looking at is your floor. Because this is the color that's staying. 
Yes. So everything that we work around also has to be, keep in mind that you've got your blonde tones in your, in your wood right. floor. That's right. why I'm thinking more of the blues, like mm -hmm. you like. Um, greens are good with this. Okay. Pinks, not so much. No. Okay, okay. good, all right. Um, reds are good with it. So this is the artwork that you have that you like, don't like, what do you? This is the artwork I like. So okay. this was in our old dining room, mm -hmm. which of course you can tell with the pops of reds, yeah. the neutral tones, yeah. I really like that. Okay. Um, and then obviously Perry, that's my cat. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, you may come out and visit. Oh, oh he's here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, yeah, he might come. Okay. Um, and then this is um, a piece that I got from the Brooklyn Museum. This is a, of course, rendition of, of yeah, yeah, that cannot recall at that's this moment, but really cool. Um, those types of things I love. I love landscapes. I love florals. I like okay. realism kind of art. Okay. Um, so that's kind of where I like to get my colors from is something that would look Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So that's actually, this is going to be our inspiration piece as far as our blues are concerned. I love okay. this. This is spectacular. Okay, so we are looking at the blue that's in here. So something like this on the wall would be beautiful in any of, how do you feel about that? I Just that on the one, and then also in your kitchen. Yeah. <sighs> and I have to consider that we are gonna have a lot more lighting. Exactly. The expected yeah, recess lighting and things yes. like that. It's not gonna be like a dungeon. Right, <laughs> right, 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 absolutely. All right. So let me grab my paint swatch really quick. Okay, while you do that, I'll go through some more of these names. Uh, Ann Topper is watching. Uh, Julie Gaber. Oh, wow, I see Julie in forever. Uh, Jeremy Poling. Danny Taylor. <laughs> Alice Hout. Caitlin Emily. This is the pretty. color that we paint, similar to the color okay. that we painted our kitchen. Oh, so that's okay. something I'm automatically gravitating to. Okay. Towards. Yeah. Got, yeah, that crisp kind of blue. Okay, so you like, you prefer this palette as opposed to this palette? I believe so. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's also, is that too, too bright? Yeah, I think I yep. like it more on the scale. Yep. Okay. Yeah, those seem to almost match it perfectly. Yeah, it's off a smidgen. I feel like I need to bring a little bit of green undertone to it. Let me pull out. Just You want to pull this into the kitchen where there's a little more natural light? Well, no, because it's going to be in that space, and it's going to be in here too, but let me just... Oh, okay. uh, Sherry McClurkin says hi. Oh, hey, Sherry. And Tina Wiseman has joined in on as well. All right, so if I've missed giving you a shout out or waving at you or responding to your comments on Facebook, I apologize. I think, I think I've got them all so far caught up. That's better. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Yes, absolutely. That's better. That's the difference right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the tone. The, <laughs> the tone was, I was like, there's something off a little bit. That's much better. Much, much better. Yeah. Really, any of these would work. I know, that's what I was just thinking. Gosh, that's, I know that that's going to be too dark, but that's gorgeous too. I'm definitely gravitating towards one, two, and three. Yeah, me too. Me too. Mid range. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. They're pretty. Well, they're. It's funny. They're all um, because this palette is. It's not like a step up as far as your tone, if that makes any sense. So they're not necessarily just um, a shade deeper. Now this definitely is, 
is the it has it's pulling in mm -hmm. the blue green. Mary which had I a like. question. She says, "Are those Sherwin Williams colors?" They do are. You, do you prefer their palettes? Um, I kind of go back and forth between Sherwin Williams and Benjamin Moore, so it just depends on what I feel like. I when I'm doing a traditional home, Benjamin Moore has a lot more to offer. When I'm doing more of a contemporary design, Sherwin Williams has more to offer. If that's helpful or not. I'm really liking I know. that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm really liking that a lot. How do you feel about that? I'm good. You're good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I wish all my I, clients are like that. You should that. see me yeah, paint. Okay. I'm really good at painting. He's, he's like, are looks you? beige to I'm me, but <laughs> if you say it's blue. <laughs> Whatever you guys decide you want, I'm the guy that does it. Right, right. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really pretty. Is there a story behind this Tom's Serve Yourself right, roasted just peanuts? Yes, there is. It. That is from our Uncle John, who passed away. And I said that was a pretty cool machine, and he, he left that name when he passed away. Oh, well, that's very cool. Very sentimental. And currently, it does not work. Like this. Oh, okay. And also, I have no idea how to totally disassemble it to fix it. <laughs> and there's not a lot on the internet on how to work. So, uh, it's a work in progress. Huh. But it is a cool piece. I do like that. All right. Well, then, shut, if, in case anybody who sees this video happens to know someone that would know how to get this in working order, add your reference in the comment section. We'll see if we can make sure that we pass that along. Because that would be a pretty specific kind of a Absolutely. There are skill. people that restore them, but there's not a lot of information on how they do the work. Gotcha. And, like, the levers on it don't work, so I assume that something's wrong with the spring mechanism in it. It's not easy to take apart. They're very well built. So it's not like you take some screws out, it kind of all flips together and comes apart in pieces. Okay. Yeah, because you get it up and running. When your guests come, you can make some money. Five cents, you can get a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not so good. I could imagine it's pretty It's something. It'd be a party vending machine. It could be, yeah. Spaces. It's basically right these these this right in here, right? Yeah, and I believe that that room would probably be its own. Gotcha. It's closed off. Right, right, right. Yeah. Just want to make sure that I've explored all my options. Oops. Oh, Fred Manning's now watching. Hey, Fred. What are we doing now? I just want to, I'm just making sure. I just want to make sure. Oh, those have too much red in them. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is so obnoxious sometimes. Well, I think that what's cool is there's so many yeah, different nuanced shades of blue in the painting that there is. it's going to be pretty forgiving. Yeah, but I want to make sure. I just want to pull up my green blues. Now is this a paint, uh, this is an uh, actual painting or a print or? This is a print, a copy of a painting that's in the museum in the Brooklyn. Oh, okay, so this is a real thing, it'd be worth like yeah, lots of money. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. We probably won't let you shine the light on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. Yeah, that's this Oh, peacock. peacock! It's Peacock, that's the one. <laughs> it's Peacock. peacock. Bloom. That is, I. There was something bothering me about that. Well, thank you, Dina. I yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, one out. that, that is, is perfect. That is perfect. It has just a little bit of the green, but not a lot. Do you see that, honey? Yeah. I Document guess. that number for future use. Do you not like it as much? I love it. I think it's fine. Fine. I think it looks kind of to, to my eye. It looks very close to what you had there before. I think it, I can see what you're saying, Dean. I it think it, it, it does. Just is a little bit more pizzazz. I think, so I, think I caught his bug. I'm now colorblind. Yes. <laughs> it's contagious, <laughs> it right? It's, you see it. Yeah. It's blue. It's blue, but it's blue, but it has just a little bit of green, so that I'm, I'm ready it's pulling. Green. And I just think with <laughs> the red, it'll be that much nicer. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I love it. That's really pretty, and I do like the teal. So what too. are what are yes. your colorblind yeah. limitations? Oh. What, what don't you see that well? The whole spectrum. It's red green, but if okay. you do a colorblind test, like where you look at the dots, Peacock. I got uh, two out of thirty. Oh, okay. I could see two. Uh, wow. It's so so bad they thought I was like messing around. They made me take it again. Is that right? Yeah. A few years ago, you must have loved that uh, Jets so Bills game, wasn't that the one where they had <laughs> the same, one, the same color one was wearing all red, one was wearing all green, but yeah. people who were colorblind yeah. couldn't yeah, tell couldn't which tell. team was which. It just looks like brown. It <laughs> looked like brown. Is that what it is? Yeah. Interesting. It just looks like a brown blur. Um, huh. Like playing video games, like if you play like a Call of Duty or something where they're wearing like green uniform, like right. My reaction time is horrible because I can't really see. Huh. I can never figure out how to find So red, here. green, and brown all kind of look the same or very close. It's a red, green spectrum. So like, I would pick anything that was like in blues and yellows because that's what I can see. Gotcha. So if you ever see me pick colors, it'll be something like a blue and a yellow. Okay. Because they, they contrast. So these blue ones, you're kind of able to see. I can this, see the blue. The, the, okay. I can't tell like when there's greens in them though. Oh, and that's what she's looking for with but that hint of green. If you took a red swatch and you put green dots on it, it would just look like brown. I couldn't see the yeah. dots. Huh. It just like blurred it like together. Huh. So we're looking for... Um, when did you figure that out? Like your middle school or something? Uh, middle school. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, third grade they give us the test. That's when they start they testing. The test. Yeah. We took the test at school, and I got two out of 30. And they made me take it again with a different book because they thought it was, I was kidding. <laughs> I'm sure you've taken them before where you see like sure the yeah I can't see them it just looks like a mess yeah I, I will say I don't know if sure if everybody's the same way as me but some of those they're kind of hard even if you're not yeah. colorblind it's like wow I think there's a 19 in there well, somewhere well if you're colorblind you'll see different numbers than what's actually in oh really yeah that's how yeah. I can tell oh I forget yeah, it was just you couldn't see any, color, uh, like any numbers at all don't be 19. saying there's an 8 in it but Colorblind like person would see a three a because of the way it's drawn. Ah, yeah. interesting. So they okay. trick your brain yeah. into seeing something. In my case, not hard to do. 19. Not, yeah, so they trick <laughs> your brain into seeing something else, and that's how they can tell. Okay. And where are you guys from originally? I'm from uh, Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's so pretty. I love it. Look at that. And Caitlin is from oh, Hagerstown, but so nice. grew up in West Virginia. It. And then what you okay. can do is bring You sound like you're from further south than, than where you're from. That's I work in Virginia. You know, we'll oh, bring okay. this with us when we go shopping the last to see as far years. as if okay. there's padded chairs that we want to, you know, as far as fabric. Right. So here's our color. Um, we're going to also put that. So what I'm thinking is here too, mm -hmm. if you want. And then also up there, if you want, you don't have to, but I just think that it would. It's so. I, love it. I mean, I'll tell you what. Whatever so you suggest, I will do it. Okay. And then we'll decide if we like it. Well, it's just, <laughs> well the other thing is, it's just I paint. paint. Absolutely. Paint over it. And I, I don't you. mind painting, so I'll yeah. paint it. And if yeah, it doesn't, yeah. if we don't. Maybe you decide you don't like it too. Right. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't think she's going to decide she's not going to like it. I don't think that's almost ever happened. Well, she's I mean, usually it's, pretty good at kind of seeing it in her head. And it's then, really, it's it. just really pretty. The other thing you could do if you wanted to is bring the red that you like in here too. Hmm. You could do I would worry about red. that with the countertop though, I think. Like that will look good with the countertop. If you put a red in here, I yeah, don't know. Red really white. Okay. Yeah. Red. That's yeah. fine. Well, not red, red. It would be more like this. Um, Deep red plum color. Like an eggplant? Like an eggplant. Which would be, you know, which is also kind of in your other pillows if you wanted to. But I like, this is so unexpected. That there's nothing. Is this the blankest like space you ever have done? Yeah, but I mean, as far as this, <laughs> this color, but like with this, oh my gosh, it's yeah. so. Yeah, well, you definitely need a color in here so to make yes, those maybe. cabinets pop. Absolutely. Yeah. I just. Builder beige is not done with Builder beige. <laughs> Ding! Was that your laundry? Yes. It was. Laundry's ready! <laughs> but just so you can kind of see the other that I was talking about as far as a like a like a reddish color. Only if I can find it. Um, you could probably find this beige color and not be lost. I think it's actually called Builder Beige. Is it? <laughs> is it a Sherwood Williams? There is a Builder Beige color. I'm sure and there the is. Guy that, the guy that like redid this kitchen builds homes. Oh, and I think okay. He just, yeah. 
Well, it's, you know what's good about that is because you're going to need a base color anyway when you paint, and it just helps the paint Absolutely. go on better. Mm -hmm. So in that respect, he did yeah, you a like, favor. It's like having a primer. It's like having a primer, totally. Yeah. yeah. It's Builder Bob's favorite color, Builder Beige. I need something a little bit more. Like something like that you could even do. It's not quite what I was looking for. That's not bad. It's not more of a deep. Yeah, it's close. I think you look for a little more rust. Yeah. That, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, mm -hmm. that's not it. That's. That's, nope. that's not really right. That's not it. All right, maybe it's just not meant to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and I do believe. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I don't know how it'd be. Puppy playtime warm out. You're, you're look, are you looking for like a big bold no, dark one? That's pretty. I'm looking to pull this eggplant out. Oh, I thought you were playing off of the picture. Okay. Well that one's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is really bold though. Well it's only for accents or that is really bold. Is that too much? A little bit too much. For backsplash in the bottom. I see where you're going <laughs> with it. I I do. Too much. You could do something like that. I mean, it looks good with the blue, too. but I like the blue better. Yeah, I do, too. I just think it's... Well, the other thing it's going to do is it's going to pull the entire spaces together, and, and that's what you really want to do in design. So it's going to be just on this one wall, Okay. and then we're going to bring it with us and see if we can find some sort of a print that you like, Okay. and then that's going to be this wall wallpaper and stuff. Man, you know, Putting up is a little bit tough. Taking it down is the part I don't like. I'm not doing it. I'm calling my wallpaper guy. <laughs> you know, wallpaper guy? Well, I'll call somebody. I have a wallpaper guy. <laughs> <laughs> call the wallpaper guy. Okay, so that's... You think I'm kidding. That's, no, I don't. <laughs> wallpaper is, you have to know what you're doing with yeah. wallpaper because you don't want to see seams, you know, all that right. kind of stuff. You definitely want to know what you're doing. Okay, all right, so let's kind of go over any sort of other things that we need to focus on. Um, did you want to go into the living room? We can. The other thing that just popped into my head, are you keeping builder beige on the walls that are not accented? Absolutely not. Okay, so that's another color thing. Thank you all the colors. Okay. All right, um, Get your wheel of fun. with the blue, what are you thinking you want to go neutral? To go where? To go on the other walls. Where was that one? Which oh. one? It was the smaller one. This yeah. one or this one? I think it was, wherever this color came from was on the same, was on a similar palette with a bunch of other. Gotcha. Colors. Right here. Peacock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, is it safe to choose from the same one, or should I, is it, can I be free to kind of go to Oh, no, else? you're free, because okay. this is going to be your base color that's going to be on the other walls in the front foyer space. So you could do grays, you can do yeah. beige, yeah. and, and I was you could do... Well, I was thinking something grayer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, something grayer, but on a lighter scale. Okay. Um, but still gray on a blue scale, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. It but does. lighter. Absolutely. So how long have you guys been married? We've been married for two years in June. Okay. So four months and we will hit our two year mark. And how'd you guys meet? Um, we actually met over Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat? Yeah. He randomly connected on Snapchat? Uh, it wasn't too random. My brother actually introduced us. Oh, okay. So they had known each other for about eight years and my brother really wasn't a fan of the guy I was uh, dating mm. at the time. Is he an older so, brother? Yes. Protective. Yes. Yeah, so well, he introduced like a us and I don't think he thought we'd get married, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably had no idea. Yeah. I didn't know at the time either. So how long did you guys date before you got engaged? Uh, about three and a half years. Oh, it was a long dating process. Yes, it okay. was. And then how long was the engagement? Six months. <laughs> okay, so you knew each other four years before uh, you got married. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, that's nice. So did you live near each other at the time when you were beginning to date? Or? Yeah, I was in Hagerstown, halfway. Yeah, but I was in Waters. Well, yeah. When but we first met, I was still in school at WVU. So that was interesting. Now, did you own a house before this one, or were you renting when you first got married? I owned another house that okay. we just sold. 
Gotcha. This is like perfect timing. Sold the other one, now we can renovate over here. Yeah, that good. cool. Is the other house smaller? Is that why this one is kind of sparsely yes. populated with furniture right now? Yes, much smaller. Yes. Um, Wait, definitely half a starter size. home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I found the right palette. Okay, so I love front porch. Oh, I like that sagey kind of. I'm seeing greens. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes, because it's pulling from here. And the other thing what I want to do is I want to pull from the grout lines that are in here, which have kind of a gray undertone. Mm -hmm. Again, you want to try and pull everything together. And even like your silver that's in here. Mm -hmm. You've got such a good eye. You can see the green that it was pulling. Good for you. Thank you. I told you, you're going to become my assistant. She's good. I already am your yes. assistant. Yes, she came on a decorating job with me yesterday. And I was like, this is my assistant. Slash friend Kaylin. <laughs> She's good at this. She is. She is very good at it. All right. She does all the selections on this. She I just tells me what to get. That front porch is yeah. going to be the way to go. I love it. I don't know that I have front porch in a bigger in a swatchy. Oh, here you go. We'll just cut it off. <laughs> you could. We could just bring the whole thing with us, too. But I love front porch. So the front porch is then going to go every place that's not our accent wall. So it's going to go here. That it. is so great. I love those two together. That looks really good. Really good. And it also looks good with the floor. Yes, it does. That's really important. A lot of people think that they can do any color on a wall and ignore the hardwood floor, and it doesn't work that way. It looks really good with that, too. Again, with your blonde tone. So that's working. Really working nice. Okay, cool. Okay, so now this color is going to be here, here, here. I mean, you can take it all the way down the hall. Is that what you're thinking? You want to keep everything neutral? Oh, you want to take it down yeah. the hall. Okay. Just to keep it one space. I think there's not really a cutoff here. I agree. Way that, I mean, if, if it stopped and this was here, perhaps, right. but because right. this, you can see this. I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, it's really not that much more. And then your bedrooms, you can do something completely different. Also, when you're shopping for light fixtures, don't neglect to shop for those. Yeah, yeah we'll make a shopping list. <laughs> you gonna be go, go through the your, truck. Yeah, go through your, oh, that's right, you do have a truck. Mm -hmm. Love that. Yeah, we're okay. Home with something. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll trailer be, too, if you need it. Yeah, before we go shopping, though, we'll kind of make a list. So we need two. Um, huggers, ceiling huggers, uh, like a chandelier. Mm -hmm. um, kitchen is fine. That's fine for you. That's fine. We're okay. going to end up putting recess lighting okay. in and then probably gotcha. lights underneath of the Yeah, so if you have ideas like where to put recess lighting, yes. just let me know and then I'll yeah. have my buddy Mike put all that. Okay, okay. So you're doing recess lighting in here. I think we will have to because in the evening time when the sun goes it's down, dark. it's, it's very pretty dark. dark in this room. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I need yeah. counter light. Sure. Yeah, well, you definitely want to hit wherever your workspace is. So even though you've got this, I would do, you know, you could do quite quite a few. Oh, yeah, you don't have any lights underneath you don't have the cabinets any lights. or anything. Yeah, so you're definitely going to want your overhead lights. So you're, de you're going to want one here, you know, again, like right about there. And then you're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And then this is your third one, so one on either side of that. So that's okay. five. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And, and that should be good. Island or no? Um, well, you've got this. You can do a, a <laughs> larger one that will give you more light, like a yeah. three bulber if you want. I think I do like Probably a three. Probably do something more. This yeah. is not really enough. I agree. And it's not doing anything for your island. Your island is kind of a focal point, but when you just have the one pendant, I would do something that has three. I okay. kind of think originally that it was nothing here. Oh, probably right. But I think yeah. they added this. Yeah. I don't think this was here originally. Yeah. I, yeah now, that is kind of contemporary looking. Is that something that could work in the dining room or not no, really? No, it's not big enough. Okay. That could work. I wish it was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that could work in a bathroom. Mm -hmm. That could totally work in a bathroom. Oh, you could definitely re repurpose oh, this somewhere else. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, did you remember where I said for lights or do you need me to make marks on the ceiling? Good. You're good? <laughs> All right. He does this for a living. He's okay. live in this room. Well, yes, Facebook but do you fans. know where? So when, yeah, so when I call Mike, I tell him how many to get. Yes. And then bring them. And yes, then, and yeah. then one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Good. 
because that becomes the center. So on either side of that, kind of right there in the corner, and then yep. two right there. So okay. Cool. Would well, you want to do recessed in the hallway, or you want to get regular lights you can see in that hallway? Um, what do you guys want in the front? In the front here. Well, I was talking about the hallway specifically. Oh, in the hallway. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could if your guys coming out. That would actually be better because that's a little bit more contemporary. If you did, instead of having that would be very silly ones, if you did three as opposed to two yeah. in the hallway, that would be so much better. I do like that idea. Yeah. Good call, honey. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I'm not only here for yes. my good looks. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Any reason why this would be asking me on Facebook if I want to tag Elaine Luttrell? Oh, no, I don't know. Hi, Elaine. I'm not sure. I'm not saying, do you want to tag Elaine Luttrell in this video? Yeah, I don't sure think we do. That's about. <laughs> Front porch is SW7651. Let's see if it's Maybe the ghost here. of Elaine is here. I picked up her aura. What did I just say? 7651. I don't, I don't know what the lady's name is that passed away here. Oh, <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, it's Elaine. Do, 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 do. So let's go into living room. Is that the other room you wanted to look at? Yes. Okay. It does seem like a lot now that you. <laughs> Douglas M. Hart. Oh, we're oh, watching. Hey, Doug, I went to high school with him too. Oh, this board. is great. <laughs> oh, what a cute face. Look at this puppy. Oh, my goodness, with the ears. Hi. Oh. <laughs> ah, how are you? So how are cute. You? How are you? Oh, oh, my goodness. oh, my goodness. This room oh. is great. So, You're very playful. Yeah. You're very playful. It's another blindfold. Very playful. Yeah, oh. it is. Are you a puppy? So, are you a puppy? Oh, I got you scratching. I got you scratching. We actually purchased this couch. It's a space-saving couch, which is ironic. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. It's the living room you were in. You're a good boy. 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 Size man sitting down on it because they're very, you know, they're okay. wider than the couch. So, nice couch, comfortable, right? But obviously, doesn't work in this space. Okay. Or leave it in the space, okay, and use it somehow. But, right, yeah. okay, so this is staying, but you're thinking of adding to it, yes, gotcha. Okay, we would like a second couch over here, probably. Okay, so here's but, what I'm thinking I would move this underneath the window and I would do a sectional that would be like this. Here's my thoughts on sectional. Mm -hmm. They eat a room. And they do, but you've got such a big room. That's what I have a big room, yes. but I feel like it's going to eat up a lot of space. I'd okay. rather have, even if you're going to have that over here, have two separate pieces of okay. furniture versus having Fair the enough. And that's something that we can still do because you definitely like, want to do like a we'll chaise one. It. Oh, okay. We can do yeah. a chaise this way, yeah. and then yeah. you could do sofa, love seat, chaise, and then this comes over here. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. Yeah. Breaking it up okay. a little bit more. Okay. All right. And then you can put, you know, a chair in a corner or yep. whatever. Yeah. Yep. And actually what I would do then is I would move this piece in front of and then this becomes its own little area. Yeah. So right. to speak. Okay. okay. And so I'm gonna give you kudos that your couch is not pressed up flat against the wall. Yeah. I did I moved it back. Well, you know how couches move occasionally. Yes. So I moved it forward a Good. little bit. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people have a tendency to just shove their furniture up against and the wall. You never and line a room with furniture. It's let it, just let it not breathe a little bit. But there's also a return back there for the HVAC. Oh, for the HVAC. So. Okay. okay. Well, okay. Well, That's well, good too. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The other house, to do that. The other house it was radiator, <laughs> so you could never go Oh, with the couch, so. yeah. 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 This Four stairs so much better for furniture placement. We're just telling our daughter that because she's house hunting. Yeah. And I'm like, you want to try and go with four stairs because baseboard heat limits what you can do with. Yeah, and oh, radiators really. too. Yeah. And radiators, all that stuff really yeah. does limit. Okay, so we'll be looking for sofa, love seat, chair. Yes. You're, writing, you're gonna write everything down. Sofa, right? love seat, chair. She well, knows she what just she wants watched the, the episode again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's our time? Doesn't write anything down. Well, it's, it's, it's on Facebook now. It's true. 
Yeah, and, it'll be on our and website. And probably, you know, with, within 48 to 72 hours, we post it on decoratingdatenight.com yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 that's true. Okay. All right. So now, end tables, this is what you want to work with, or are we getting everything new? I just I love wanted... these. We produce okay. these. Um, this okay. is new. This, these three, the console gotcha. and the end tables, came whenever we purchased this okay. couch. And so it actually fit that space at one point. That goes with this piece? This is mismatch that we put, ah. that we actually brought down from Scott's bedroom, okay. which was like an attic space that okay. was like a living area slash bedroom. This okay. is almost everything that we had in the other house, okay. yeah. minus the table gotcha. and the secretary that's yeah. out there. Yeah, so it's, it's just everything. what we're working with. Are you married to this? No, I love that. The dog okay. We are married to that piece. My mom <laughs> actually sure. got that for us okay. um, at a renaissance fair. So here's yeah. what I'm thinking. I would probably not use this or this in the space. I would put this with that, but put that right in front of it so it acts as slash coffee table yeah. and also storage. Right. So this and this is going to go. We'll use these three pieces when you get your yeah. sofa love seat shades. Okay, good deal. And what about this chair? These chairs, are, we just brought them in for extra seating. Okay. I'm not, I'm not married to these chairs. Okay, I could even see these being out there in like a sitting area yeah. too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Out. Yeah, those could totally go in this one on the opposite yes. of this wall. Now, I'm noticing yeah. pretty eclectic style choices. Is that because you just like individual pieces? Like I've seen some stuff that reminds me of Craftsman. Some stuff looks kind of contemporary. Some stuff looks a little more rustic and country. Other stuff looks more traditional. Yeah. It's kind of a potpourri, is that? <laughs> it is. It, I think it's a melting pot of, of Scott and I. Like, for instance, this portrait is something that came with in his family. For I many, love many that. Years. That's a really cool piece. Um, so this piece obviously stays. And if we could, um, I'd love to incorporate, you know, wherever we end up putting this, um, where we're incorporating the space kind of around it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It's got the blues and the reds in it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If it gets moved out there. So sure. Like, just hung sure. on the wall so it didn't get damaged. Right. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So, what color are you seeing in here? Um, this has its. This can be its own space completely because yeah. it's separate. I think I want something almost darker, just because we do have a lot of light. I plan mm -hmm. on doing the recess lighting, but because we're going to do the so like the sofa, the love seat, uh -huh. I'd like something a little bit darker. And okay. I'm almost thinking of something like on a green <clears throat> scale. Okay. Um, or something like warm. Okay. Green. Okay. I can't picture it right now, but I'm thinking something darker, so it's cozy. Okay. Because this is the okay. family room. So this is the most used room in the home. It is. It is. Hmm. By the way, uh, Cindy Abrecht and Sona K. Oh, the seat. Oh, the Abrechts are watching. Cool. All right. Okay, so because this is our color palette, we've got these. Is this rug staying in here? It doesn't have to. Okay. Again, I got this and I was thinking it traditional. Fit in the other house. space perfectly. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, so this is something that can also be. This could actually, nice rug, though. This could actually go in the dining room, mm -hmm. depending on what That's, we find. Yeah. 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 No, Better, I really this love this. This is a nice rug compared yeah. to the yeah. other yeah. one. But yeah, and I do like the I like the blues. Like oh yeah, it's pulling that's, right here. Yeah. It's that's the blue. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Yeah, that's totally the blue. See that? Good thing I back you. Ta da! Yeah, you can zoom in on it. CSI. <laughs> yeah, it does pick up the blue. It's perfect. Oh, I like that red color. See, now that I'm seeing that. I'm thinking I'm in red here, in here. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm thinking well, too. I always was going to recommend it, except we hated it so much in the kitchen that I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> no, no, in here I think it will be perfect though, because we do have the reds and, yeah. you know, this is All a right. piece that I'm going to shameless plug for my mother who does resin artwork, but this is a sure. piece that oh, she made for very us. very cool. Um, that I'd love to incorporate that in the is, space. That is a great piece. Yeah. What is that made out of? What is that? This is actually a resin. Very cool. All right, so which which reds are you feeling? All right, Scott, I know you're good at picking out reds. You oh, is out, that right? There's a okay. There was a Ralph Lauren red that he chose that he painted his bedroom. Uh huh. Probably still have it. <laughs> um, well, you're trying to go with. I'm just trying what's to pick. In the rug, so, not necessarily. Oh no, I'm. I'm 
My silver, I lit. Uh, Peterson just hopped on. Where's my silver? Urban didn't pick it. <laughs> How old is Urban? Yeah. Four months. For a month, I know. You're just a little baby puppy. Hi, baby. <laughs> yeah. Can you sit by me? Sit. I know you're excited. Yeah. paint my room. I do like this one. Ooh, Urban says, does it match his leash? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Hi, baby. <laughs> I like this one a lot. Oh, I like that too. Why don't what you do hold you? that one next to some of artwork and stuff and just make sure. Anything that's deeper. Yeah, it's definitely... Yeah, versus the fire engine. Like yeah. This thing here. Yeah, so you have that red. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It goes with it. That's purpose. beautiful. Look at Troy just coming in. That was oh, I love it. Spot. Yes, he does. That's great. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so do you have paper and pen? Yes. I will just write down because I lost my phone You have the hiccups now? Yeah. Is Urban uh, doing any tricks yet? Yeah. Urban, sit. Sit. Urban, sit. Oh, oh good boy. Oh, very nice. Down. Down. Look at that. Wow, just four months. Can you recite the Gettysburg Address yet? Probably if we try to. Yeah, we'll work on that next week. <laughs> You're big, learning stay. How big will Urban get? Uh, 80 to 100 pounds. Oh, you're gonna be a big boy. You're gonna be a big boy. Yeah, you probably already weigh about 40. Yeah, he's about 40. He gains about 10 pounds a month. Oh my goodness, you eat a lot of food? Uh, yes, he does. <laughs> you're getting too close, I can't get you on the camera. Uh -huh. Are you teething? Yes, Are you do. teething? Do that too. <laughs> yeah. Boy. All right, let's see. Couple of comments. Gail says, "Hi, you guys. Hey. Hello. What kind of puppy? Airedale. Airedale. Airedale Terrier. Airedale Terrier. Oh, I don't think I've ever heard of that. I think it's the I've the biggest terrier. I think I've seen them before. I guess Probably. I never knew what they were they, called. He'll get all brown, so he'll turn all brown. And he'll have like a black saddle. All this black will go away. Oh, no kidding. He'll just have a saddle, black saddle. Well, even in the face, the face yep. gets all brown It'll too. It'll be all brown. His ears will be all brown." Wow, that's interesting. Has he, has he begun to change more around his... Yeah, so he used born? to have a mask, like a black mask the whole way around, and his paws were all black, like to here. Oh, wow. So he loses, he loses it pretty fast. His puppy fur's all falling out now. Wow. That's why he's kind of patchy. <laughs> this is his adult fur, like the thicker fur. Gotcha. This is still puppy fur. It's coming out now. But... Huh. And then they don't shed. You actually have to hand strip them to pull their fur out. Oh. Twice a year because they won't shed. Hand strip the meaning easy since we're like a metal comb and really just pull it, pull it out. out. Yeah. Oh, they must love that. Uh, they <laughs> say to start doing it now, which we have a brush that pulls it because yeah. just to get them used to it. Well, are you going to go back to sleep? Yeah, he's really mellow for a puppy. Well, we had him at puppy playtime today to wear him out before this. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he was outside for like three hours. And he's house broken, I'm assuming. Uh, pretty close. Yeah, almost there. We keep him on the leash in the house because then he can't wander off. Like he'll wander if you go over there and pee. Oh, uh, 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 okay. And signal so that it teaches him to go outside. Gotcha. Okay. So he's, he's going to the door now. So he, he's doing pretty good. And he goes to obedience class every week. Yeah. Oh. Maybe Dina should send me there. If you're learning stay and oh. leave it. What's the second thing then? Leave it. Leave so it. So he doesn't pick stuff up off the ground. Oh, gotcha. So leave it and then just walk away from gotcha. it. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. We should train our kids up in that way whenever they see like an <laughs> opioid or something. It's like, leave, leave it. No op opioids for you, young man. <laughs> you being a good boy. Gosh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a four month old quite this mellow. Yeah, yeah. We just wear him out so he lays around. Very cool. You just have to exercise him a lot. All right, well, we're missing the whole decorating thing. Let's see if we can catch up. Go back to where you're supposed to. Okay, so this peacock is now also going to go on this wall. 
Okay, so that wall here. So this wall, and then we're going to have a sitting area. And this wall over here. No, no, no. Well, the smaller wall. Oh, the smaller this, wall. This wall is going to have. Oh, gotcha. It's your bookending. With exactly. The I'm bookending. Talk. Exactly. Okay. You're writing all this down? Yes. And then this is be <laughs> so then we switched. Front porch now is going to be in the kitchen. I was a little bit concerned that this was fighting the granite. And Caitlin agrees. So we're going to go with front porch in the kitchen. That's, the, it's that's enough, the more gray one? Yeah, and it's enough of a contrast, and it's really actually pulling so the hardware. Front porch is this one. Yep. The front porch the now is going to be in the yeah. kitchen. The lighter ones up And the so light. what are you doing with yeah. the... Oh, I like that one. And where's this is going to be here. Just because the cabinets are so white. Exactly. This is going to be here. It's going to be on that oh, little Oh, so that wall. was going to go in the kitchen, and Correct. now it's not. It's not. Yeah, because it's too much with Exactly. That. We're going to bring it in in different tchotchkes on the counter, you know, plates. That kind of, oh my gosh, if you can get dinner plates this color, that'd be so pretty. That'd be nice. Okay, so I'm that's... Sure you can. Yeah, probably. Okay, yeah. You those. There you go. That would be on our other shopping list. Okay, so I think... Is that everything? Have we touched on everything? I think so. Okay, and we're also going to be looking for rugs. So what I want you guys to do is kind of figure out area rug, what size you want to do in this dining room. And then if you're kind of hemming and hawing, take some painter's tape and put it on the floor and live with it that way. Would so, you? So maybe pretend like you're having a, you know, a rug. I almost want to bring it way out to here. And I know that that sounds crazy because visually I'm going to line myself up with this half wall. If you're going to do that, should they get a, squ a big square table? No, we're, well, we'll see. When we go shopping, um, I, square is not going to work. You need more. Okay, of a so that's going to be a really deep area of rug, isn't it? Well, we're going to pull it. Um, if you fill that one with a bed. Right. Exactly. Out, exactly. Out, move it yeah. Okay. The, the rug is, is going to, basically the rug is going to start. Can you move this light fixture? I do not like it. I hate it. The placement of it's terrible. Placement is awful. And that's why the, it tripped me up in this room so much because my it just anchors you to that. It does. Place and it doesn't make any sense with you. Exactly. It's when I hit my head. Oh, uh, well, that too. I'm sure. <laughs> I almost want it more here in line with this closet door. Like You probably don't hear this very much, but I can put it wherever you want. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> because our table is going to be here. Right. And I mean, there's no other purpose for this huge exactly. space. Exactly. So there's really no reason to yeah. keep it crunched up in this exactly. area. Exactly. You're crowding the area. I mean, you're not going to do a sitting area here. That would just right. be silly. Right. So I would love to have this. So you need to kind of have some sort of a visual where it's going to be anchored. So I'm going to have my visual be this closet. So this line is going to like draw this line yeah. all the way up here and just right in front. And then I'm going to center it actually over my door. Right now it's not centered with the front door because then visually, I know it's centered on this wall, but I think it needs to be centered with the door. Okay. Hmm. Are you yeah. sure? I'm positive. Okay. If because, you had to move it and then move it again, that's not really Yeah, good. because I want the tape, because you can then, yeah. you can also do another serving piece over here. Yeah. Yeah. And then a serving piece over here, like a, a whatever. I'm not sure what what, what would be, you know, maybe a tea card over here or yeah, a, especially I'd love since, to have yeah. bar cards. Plus the cabinets make the wall seem a little longer. Exactly. Anyway. Exactly. Um, so here's my other thought. <laughs> I'm wondering because this, this this bothers me that this is a different color. Could you just turn that into wall? Just paint it yeah, there. I'm not. Well, when we do, but this is gonna be. You know what? We might have to do the. They made it flush, like it's flush with the wall. It is flush with the wall. Can yeah. this come off? That trim piece. That trim off. is just extra. Just okay. Yeah. That's just to close that gap. And just, just make it one big wall. And, yeah. And just paint it the same color. My only concern is we were gonna do like a wallpaper here. You yeah, so you wouldn't do a wallpaper all the way to the edge. Well, you would well, just. I'm you could just sand that, put the prime wallpaper primer on it, and wallpaper it. It would just look okay. like a wall. Yeah, I'm just I'm looking at the crown molding. I'm just trying to figure that. I guess the I guess that doesn't matter. The they can go around that with the um, wallpaper. That's fine. Kind of not opposed to running the crown molding into that corner though either. Actually, I think that would be good yeah. if you're okay. With I mean, that they only stopped it there because they yeah. just did this piece. It just, it just adds on to the time frame. It does. Um, but 
doing the crown molding. That's something we intended on doing. In oh, it is. Okay. Um, I, mean, I would. Two, three pieces of crown molding. Crown molding. molding. Okay, because crown molding honestly would really look good in here. Now we just do this long wall and then this one. To that, put the wall. return there. And yeah. put the return there. Yeah, yeah. And not do the whole thing. Exactly. Kind of closes the whole. Right. The other house it was nine foot ceiling, so right. it was better. Well, this one's eight, so the it's... other thing is visually, where do you stop it? Because then you've got the hallway. And, I mean, you know what I mean? It, it if you up, go too far, it's a rabbit hole. Again. It's a rabbit hole, and then you end up having to do the entire first floor, which I don't think you want to get into that. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, no. so um, all right, as long as we can treat that as one whole, because I think that. Well, then moving the light to where you wanted. Works. Well, it makes much more sense. Not only is it centered with the door, but it's actually then more centered with the exactly. wall. Exactly. And then you, I feel like you're not able to use that whole wall because of the placement of the light. Right. So we're going to center it again with the line in the, where the two closets the come together and with the front door. Okay. So right about here. Okay. Is where that's going to be. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, is that it? I guess so. Wow. So the next round will be you guys shopping together. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if we'll do yeah. that as a decorating date night or not. We'll have to see. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to get permission from the store, but we've been chased out of stores before. So I crazy. really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> One time rather rude. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> One time we were kind of treated rather rudely, and I'm like, us mentioning we're at your store is actually free advertising. Why are you mad at us? Right, exactly. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll come in for one little huddle. We've got to do our, what wall do you want to pick? We come in and we do like a oh goodbye to everybody. All right, okay. Well, we gotta get the dog. Oh, that's right. Is he sleeping? Oh, she, is he sleeping? Oh, we can go and buy the dog. We can go wake him up. He'll get back up if right, you do it. Let's try to flip oh. this around. <laughs> All right, it's flipped around. So the we can do the. Is gonna be so let's see amazing. If I, we woke the dog up. Hi, I gotta get down. Hi, we're gonna come down by you. Huh? <laughs> let's see. Okay. Come on in. Okay, all of us with our green. Yay! Yeah, I'll sit down. Whoops. Okay. Hi, baby. Okay. All right, decorating Ready? date night. We want, where are you going, honey? <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody in. All the way down. Bye! Stay tuned for the next episode where we go shopping. Yay! Yay.